channel. We got some snow early in November. I'm like, when December rolls around, it's gonna be game on. We're gonna be killing some field mallard, we're gonna be shooting honkers. But Mother Nature likes to pull some cruel jokes on us. You know, a lot of duck hunters will tell you, you need sun and wind to have good duck hunts. And for the month of December, it was recorded in Kansas City and St. Louis, 29 out of 31 days were reported as cloudy. We had to get some footage somewhere or another, so we, Blake and I, made the decision that we were going to run two groups. We uh, we had two cameras going at two different locations. For us, it really wasn't a problem of finding birds, it was getting them to cooperate. You know, there was a huge push to the south of ducks and geese early to mid-November, and that's really where they stayed the rest of the season. We've always been on a hunt around my house, and there's always been at least a black duck spotted, and it has kind of been our unicorn because either they'd be at the back of the group, or they just never would come in, whatever, well this year, we made them pay. And it was a cloudy day, but the birds banked. And I could just see this black and these white wings. I passed up one opportunity on a black duck, so I sure as heck wasn't gonna pass up another opportunity. Well, I'm like, I think there's, a, I think there's a black duck. I think it's a black duck, guys. And uh, I was telling them, and, you know, and they're, they, I don't think they saw it. And then, lo and behold, the birds kind of peel out. And then guess who comes back was that black duck. And right when it sat, I knew exactly what it, what it was. It was, that, it was a black duck. And I think everybody jumped on the opportunity to shoot that because I think within one second there were three shells going, three shooters and three shells going right at that black duck. So that was that was pretty fun. We don't, I don't get to see a lot of black ducks around in this area. Uh, they're kind of a prize bonus bird, something that definitely goes on the wall. Yeah, I thought about saying. Come here. Ten years just for part of something very rare. Black duck? Yeah. That is a prize, prize bird right there. Uh, nice. The great black duck <laughs> has not escaped the hole. Black duck? No, he was about to hit the water. Someone shot before me. It wasn't me. I wasn't waiting on those three to come back. I seen, I, when you said I think it's a black duck, I looked and I was like, man, that thing is awful dark. 
Kill it. Wow. Did you get him? <laughs> well, it was kind of quick. Ben Shell hit me in the side of the head. So the weather in December was unseasonably warm. Uh, no wind, calm, cloudy for days. You know, we had maybe a week there that we got a little bit of cold weather. Just horrible for any kind of waterfowl, any kind of migration. Uh, you know, you got to shoot a few local birds that had been there and were stale, but other than that, December was just definitely by far one of the worst ones that I've hunted in a while. But you'd be hoping for maybe just a calendar push of birds, but it never really happened. There came a point that no matter where we hunted or how we had the decoy set, nothing would work. A lot of these birds had been in the same areas for three, four, five weeks. The weather was stagnant. There was nothing to force them to move. They knew where they were safe. Most days you'd only see them up and active before legal light and after legal light. We had to get some footage somewhere or another, so we, Blake and I made the decision that we were going to run two groups. We, uh, we had two cameras going at two different locations. Blake went and hunted over uh, a water hole. I stuck around and hunted a, a field in Kansas for some Canada geese. The report on these geese are that they've been there for several weeks. They use it every day. In these two fields that were separated by uh, some fence rows and a building, uh, but essentially they use these same two fields every day. Set up in a tree line, that had a grass, just a swath of grass uh, off the tree line, and that's where we were able to put the layout lines and have a pretty good hide. morning we hunted it, the temperatures dropped out of the bottom, you know, low teens to single digits, and the wind was just unbearable. The wind was, you know, 30, 40 mile an hour gust, and it made it for a really tough hunt, but the geese that did work, they glided in with the wind, they didn't skip a beat, it just took them forever to get there, but they did it right, and they got, they got down and in there real close, and whenever you came up guns a blazing, it just took a split second for them to catch that wind and be out of that field in a hurry. You know, the drop in the temperature and the fact that we'd seen the sun for the first time in eight weeks that kept those birds lazy in the morning, staying low and out of the wind, and I guess probably trying to keep water holes open 
But the birds we did see, they worked great, and they got, they landed right on the decoys, and they did it right. While Chris and Ricky were hunting honkers in Kansas, Dave and I went with CNL Outdoor member Tony Daniels and his families to a little spot they have in Missouri. Well, it was pretty much par for the course for the month of December. Uh, there was a bunch of birds active right before legal light, and uh, that magic time comes where you got the go ahead to shoot, and it was pretty much empty skies. So, as duck hunters, you can't force it to happen. Mother Nature's going to rule the roost. It is what it is. Uh, you just have to realize that there are better days to come. Blake? I didn't fart, but it smells it bad. It smells like a dog to me. Your dog probably farted. Yeah, it gave her all the cheeses. <laughs> probably all the dog farted. All the peeing out. Are you, are you doing this? No. Who's do, who did that? I don't know. We're almost all of like that. Who <laughs> did? Oh man, I gotta think of how to go with that one. <laughs> there's no good, there's no good way to go about that with December because it was horrible. It was December was a horrible month, and especially it kind of it kind of sucked a little bit because seeing everything and what was happening in November, we had snow and all this, and I was I was amped up to to get back into the 